Hey guys, over here with a quick video. Uh, working on a rude 80% furnace, natural gas. Um, I'm actually out here doing the uh, routine maintenance, the PM work on the gas furnaces. This customer has five units. Um, Want to do a quick video on why it is vital and important A, to perform a combustion analysis test on your heating tune ups, and B, to check your actual draft in the vent pipe. Um, I just did a combustion analysis on this furnace here and it actually checked out fine. My O2 is about 8%, my CO2 I think it was about 7%. All my ranges were good. My CO was less than, I think it was like 29 or 28 parts per million. Um, so when I was done, usually when I'm done with the combustion por portion of it, I um, uh, do the uh, draft portion of it just to make sure I'm drafting correctly. Um, and people, technicians, especially coming out of school, and I know a lot of people think that um, with the inducer motor running, it blows the flue gases up the flue pipe, and that is incorrect. The inducer job is just to induce the heat exchanger into a negative pressure. Um, the actual venting of the flue gases through your flue pipe is still on the natural draft of the pipe itself. And I'll prove why. So, I'm, I already got the um, the uh, circuit board jumped out for heat. Um, and I, let me see if I can get my hands on it here. Oh. Give me one second here. Let's turn on the power. All right, so there's your inducer motor. You probably hear it. We'll, we'll wait to let this baby fire up here. Turn on the gas. That would help. See, our hot surface igniter just came on. Um, here comes the gas. So we know the pressure switch is closed. The pressure switch is sent to the heat exchanger, not the flue. So everything's working as you can see here. The blower's running, the flames are running, everything's nice and blue. However, if you check the draft, and I don't have my little tripod here, so give me one second here, guys. I'm gonna put the phone down here. So, um, I'm gonna start my uh, inches of water column on my draft test, on my Testo 310, and we'll see what type of draft we got. Hold on one second. So I'm starting it, it's calibrating. see we're pretty much dialed in sorry guys I know this is kind of a crappy setup I forgot my GoPro and probes in the in the vent pipe you can see we're down look at that down to nothing negative 0.04 Put this thing on the oh, it's cool here. There we go. See? I don't know if you can see it very well, but about 0 0.1 positive pressure. I'm gonna pull the probe out again. And we'll start it again. Stop it. Countdown. 
as you can see, but zero inches. Stick the, the probe in the flue. And we're positive 0.002. Now we're at nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. And I usually have my lighter, which I left in the truck, but I can feel the flue gases actually spewing out right there. And it shouldn't. It should be, if I would have light my flame, it should be pulled into the flue body. So, let's see, we're still at zero. So that very important why we need to check combustion and draft. Because even though the system is mechanically functioning and it's heating the space, very dangerous. We're spewing out flue gases. Uh, you know, obviously through my little test port here, there, my test port there, but it can become very, very hazardous if it's not drafting correctly. Um, the pipe itself is a fairly short run, goes up to the roof right there. It's probably something with the roof cap. She may have had a roof out there, and they may have shoved the cap all the way down or something. I don't know, but we're gonna have to investigate it and, and then recheck our draft. All right, guys, see you on the next one. I wanted to add one more thing before I close out this clip. Um, <clears throat> look at that. GE carbon monoxide detector. Just because you have a CO detector near the furnace or in the living space, doesn't it does help, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're in the safe. Still very important to do combustion tests and draft on the gas appliance. The reason being, most of these... Um, Generic CO detectors usually go off <clears throat> at a fairly high CO. Um, it can be anywhere from 35 to 50 parts per million. You got to get uh, more of a uh, customized specialty type CO detector in order to get it to trigger um, lower than, a, than you know your 30 to 50 range. Because this is my printout, the report for the combustion test on this gas furnace right here. As you can see, my CO was 32 parts per million. So that means 32 parts per million was spewing out of these, this test port and the one over there, which I'm going to plug up here in a second. I got some metal tabs from TrueTech. But 32 parts per million was spewing out. And this, and I had it running for, you know, more than 20 minutes while I was checking everything. And this thing never went off. It is operational because I tested it. Um, just a FYI for technicians and homeowners. Do not rely purely on your CO detectors to go off when there's a high CO issue. Because uh, 32 parts per million, even though that's not necessarily death, at a long range or a long time at 32 parts per million, it can cause some seriously heavy damage to your, to your uh, well-being. So... FYI um, on the CO detectors for the house. Alrighty guys, thanks.